what the f*** is this? <laughs> mm. This might be the season where I watched as many anime as I did in winter, which was like 17. What's good, guys? It's your chicken. I thought I'd do something a little bit different. So instead of me being all alone and lonely, even though I'm still doing this alone, right? <laughs> I thought I would choose the anime that I would watch in fall 2021 with you guys, because why the f*** not? So in this video, I will be obviously stating which ones I will watch, which ones I will give a chance, and last but not least, I will give you my opinion on the ones you have. To watch and as always guys leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new and comment down below what animes you're gonna be watching and stuff that i missed so without further ado let's dive right into this video. Alrighty then, so the website I'm gonna be using is lifechart.me. You can go check it out if you want to watch this yourself. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Jobless Reincarnation Season 2, or the second part. I still haven't watched <laughs> the what? first part, even though it's Isekai and I love my Isekai if you've watched my top 10 video. I'm gonna have to catch up to this to be honest because a lot of people are saying a lot of things about this. I love my Isekais like I just <laughs> like I just mentioned, but a lot of people are saying that this is really like close to ReZero and I'm like, huh, that's cap dope, <laughs> but that alone gets me hyped to watch something Isekai, so I will definitely give that a watch. So, moving on. Demon Slayer. The, oh my god. Ufotawa has been going crazy, dude. Like, I will obviously be watching this because it's Demon Slayer, right? <laughs> Who's not watching Demon Slayer unless you actually, like, hate it or something. Y'all already know, this is gonna have, like, impeccable animation, like, always. They're killing the art style. And I really just applaud to them for their success in Demon Slayer. I don't know when this is gonna release. It says 2021. So it might be, I have no idea. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be watching that. And now this, oh, oh. call me son. <laughs> uh, this is finally getting an anime. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe this is getting an anime, dude. Like, that's crazy to me. That's, <laughs> after so many memes, so many memes, this is finally getting an anime. I will absolutely watch this. There's no way I'm not. Episode 1 is going to be released on October 7th. I am absolutely giving that a watch. And there might be, I don't know, a basically video, <laughs> if anything. I just love this character, and I'm, even though I haven't read the manga yet, but I'm really looking forward to this. All right, moving on. Data Life 4. <laughs> oh my God. I did not like the last season, like, at all, dude. I'm gonna be really straight up with you guys. I did not like the last season of Data Life at all. <laughs> but... Season 3 had a banger, and I mean a f***ing banging open, dude. It was easily like my favorite of 2019 was the re- I was in love with that opening. I easily, a thousand times, I played it. I'm definitely gonna watch it, even though I'm gonna have like zero expectations. But I'll definitely give it a watch. Why not? Right, moving on, uh, 86. <laughs> Yo, dude, like 86. I only recently watched the first season of 86. And all I can say is that this anime has a lot of potential. If you look at the scores of the light novel, you can already tell that this anime has a lot of things that have coming towards it. I'm just really excited. The first season, or the first core, whatever you want to call it, it was okay because it was a prologue, right? And I'm really excited to see how they expand on the story and the world and how they're gonna do things. So definitely a watch. Moving on, Sekai Psycho, okay. The world's finest assassin gets reincarnated. Can you believe that in another world as an aristocrat? This one, this one, this one. I did read the manga a little bit, even though it says it's a light novel, I had no idea this was a light novel to be honest, but I did read a little bit of the manga and it was okay. It definitely had its etchy moments here and there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna watch this, but it's an isekai, right? Even though Jobless is already there, but I might just give like the first two episodes a shot. And if not, then yeah. Okay, this one. These titles, dude, come on. Banished from the hero's party. I decided to live a quiet life in the countryside. Obviously it's a light novel because it's a f <laughs> This one looks, it looks interesting. I like the title just because it sounds like a, yeah, a slice of life. So I'm 
I'll, I think I'll give it a shot. Just maybe the first three episodes, like that three episode rule, I, I do it with a lot of anime nowadays. So I'll definitely do that now and see what happens because it's another fantasy and there's a lot of fantasy this season. And yeah, moving on. <laughs> Shumatsu no Harem, Worlds and Harem. Oh my God. I can already see the controversy behind this anime. I am not watching this shit, but I will definitely be very alert to <laughs> the news and the controversy, especially what Twitter says. I will be very attentive to that. You can see Echi, obviously Harem. It's on the damn title. Sci-Fi Shonen. If this is your kind of anime, go ahead and watch it. But it's not my type of anime. Like, yeah, this is definitely gonna be something that's gonna stand out this season. Moving on. Platinum End. All right, so this one, if you guys don't know, is from the author of Death Note. So I am absolutely watching this. There's a lot of things that I think this anime can do right, especially if the author is doing, you know, if he got better and stuff at like storytelling, this is definitely going to be a must watch for a lot of people. And I really think this might be a hidden gem of the season. It all depends on how the first episodes do. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Definitely a watch. Saihatelo Paladin. Saihatelo Paladin. I'll read this synapse because why not? Okay, so. Isn't this one already airing? Where am I tripping? Is this? No, it's a light novel. Okay. I'll watch the first three episodes. You know, <laughs> again, the three episode rule. But that goes with any anime, guys. Like, if you're watching something and you don't like the first episode, you need to give it, like, at least three episodes because it can really pick up from there. It's happened to me a lot of times. Moving on. Mieruko-chan. Mieruko-chan. Oh, this is so horror. All right, so I just searched up the score of the manga and it's an 8 out of 10 in my anime list. So... Let me read the syna synap <laughs> the synopsis real quick. All right, this seems interesting. <laughs> to be honest, this one I'll just I'll be looking at the socials and be and see if people are like, oh my god, look at this, look at this horror anime called Miracle Chan. This is Doki Doki the anime version. So I'll look forward to that. Moving on, tacked up destiny. Whoa, hold on, Mappa and. Ha <clears throat> Mappa and Madhouse. I am definitely gonna give this a shot. Cha cha. <laughs> the power of music. <laughs> what? 2047. What is this, Vivi? <laughs> is this Mappa and Madhouse's attempt to do Vivi or some shit? <laughs> Anyways, I don't know if you guys know this, but anime synopsis are usually extremely fing bad. But this seems very interesting. Just because it's Mappa and Madhouse, I am 100% gonna give this a watch. Again, let's just see what they come up with. This is such a weird video. <laughs> <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. My senpai isn't <laughs> that tight. Fuck dude, why? Why? Are this seems very interesting. It's so rom-com. Y'all already know I have to watch this. Besides Komi, this is the only other thing there is. Yes, I am absolutely gonna watch this. All right, so the manga score is 7.7, .7, which is not bad at all, to be honest. I don't know if it's gonna be like the Tony Kawa or Hori Media of this season. <laughs> I'm still looking forward to Komi. Like, come on, man. I'm definitely gonna give it a watch. Moving on. World Triggered, third season. I have not watched this anime yet. If you have watched it, let me know if I should watch it. I, I it's, It looks interesting. Oh man, Restaurant to Another World. The Restaurant Isekai. I have not watched this anime, but I do plan to because just because it's an Isekai. Restaurant Isekai, what the f is that? Yeah, just tell me down in the comments below if I should watch it. Moving on. <clears throat> Seven Arcs. <sighs> Blue Period. Whoa! Okay, I think we found the first really must watch of this season. Blue Period. I have never heard of this anime, but this has... <laughs> Hold up. Are you seeing this? 8.68. The manga has... Oh my god. It's a drama school seinen slice of life anime. Absolutely. With that score, that's a must watch, dude. It's seven arcs. If you don't know seven arcs, uh, they made Tonikawa, basically. <laughs> basically Tonikawa. <laughs> Damn it. This is a must watch just because of that manga score, man. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I'll definitely be talking about it in my Twitter. That one is woke, guys, just because of the manga score. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> Ranking of Kings. If you're asking why I got excited, it's because of this. Wit Studio. I have a love for Wit Studio now. Almost at the same level of Kyoto Animation. Just because of how on fire they've been recently, man. Wit has done so much. I mean, like... Apart from Attack on Titan, obviously, they've done Vinland, 
Great Pretender, and Vivi, dude. Vivi is an amazing anime. If you have not watched Vivi yet, you need to watch it, and especially watch my video right after. Dude, I'm telling you that anime is easily anime of the year contender. But yeah, King's ranking or Osama ranking, definitely watching this just because it's with Studio. I'm loyal to with Studio. I don't care if they like throw a piece of shit in my face, I'll watch it, dude. It's just because of the amount of love they put into their anime. Like, ranking of Kings, y'all already know. Wait till I get the f <laughs> Oh my god, no. On Madhouse one, all right. Let me look at the manga score. All right, I couldn't find a manga score, but I mean, it looks interesting. If any of you guys are gonna watch this and you do end up enjoying it, feel free to let me know down below. Pass for me, to be honest, even though it's Madhouse. All right, the next one is Suki, Suki to like. You can read. This one seems interesting. I do not know what this studio is. Two vampire ones this season. I don't know, I, I've never liked vampire stuff, dude. Not for me, man. So, pass. Moving on. Sakugan, a mecha one. Okay. I think this one's a pass just because it's mecha. Really nothing towards the series or anything, but I, I'm just not a mecha guy, dude. The only mecha I really like was Code Geass, obviously, because it, it's Code Geass. <laughs> but if any of you guys have read the novel or something, feel free to let me know and like tell me like, Yoshi, what the f*** are you doing? This anime is actually gonna be insanely good. But for now, it's a pass. Moving on. What the f*** is this? <laughs> Apparently, there's a- What the f*** is this? Otome Fairy Tale. Alrighty then, so I just looked up the manga score and it's like 8.3. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be watching this. The anime looks interesting. I mean, it's shonen and historical, was it? Uh, yeah, romance, shonen, slice of life, comedy, historical. It's a slice of life and you already know that I love my slice of life. Just because of the manga scores. Again, guys, something I really use to like- determine what animes I'm gonna watch. If they have a novel or manga, I always look at the manga scores. This doesn't mean that the anime is gonna like reflect on those scores, but in most cases, it does actually happen a lot. And I've been watching anime for, <laughs> for like six, seven years, dude. And it works like a charm, really. And that's how I find the series that are actually pretty nice. So yeah, I'll definitely give that one a watch. Moving on. Love, love alternative. You see that right there? Mecha ah uh, pass. <laughs> I'm being a hater, guys. <clears throat> Shiki Sakura. Okay. What is this manga? Oh, it's an original. All right. So what I'm looking at right now, this seems like a pretty random anime, and it's probably gonna be one of those random anime. If you know what I'm talking about. I mean, it's a drama, sci-fi. If you're into that, if it's good, people are gonna talk about it. Okay, moving on. Ooh, silver link. All right, I'm seeing something with silver link. If you don't know what silver link is, it's the studio that basically produces a lot of the is isekai shows. They're also doing the the reincarnated reincarnated as the world's best assassin or whatever. But this actually looks like a really really good anime. I don't know. It seems like one of those serious ones, if you know what I'm talking about, because it talks about like an illness approaching humanity. And it's and it takes place in an in a little bit. I can't talk today, dude. <laughs> it takes place in Antarctica. It just looks like a serious anime. I'll definitely just give this one like a first watch, a first episode watch. So I'll give this a first watch. I don't know if I'm gonna talk about it, but yeah, <laughs> moving on. So now I'm gonna go faster because this video would be like extremely long if I don't hurry up. And yeah, oh sunrise. All right, so this is the sequel to Yasahime. If you've been watching that anime, I have not been watching it because I haven't watched, watched <laughs> Inuyasha yet. So yeah, uh, I'll watch this, but definitely not right now. Now we got an anime about a game. I usually always skip those. They usually always miss for some reason, which really sucks because I actually want to see one that, that adopts it really well. And unfortunately, it really just, it's not common, so skip. Mecha, you already know, skip. <laughs> what the f*** is this? This looks like, <laughs> this looks like Madoka for some reason. Magic. All right. I'm probably not going to watch this, so like, skip. Again, as always, if you watch this and it's actually good, like, hit me up. Tesla Note. Am I going to see a f***ing car? <laughs> I'm so original, dude. All right, unfortunately, I could not find a score, but it's a new studio, Gambit. I have not heard of these. Yeah, it's their first anime oh what i'm actually gonna give this a shot just because original animes have been going ham this this year this might be the dark horse of the whole season moving on blade runner huh what is this a live action y'all already know miss 
I am not watching fucking live action unless it's really good, which I don't know yet. Mecca. Damn, that poster looks really good. This might be. This might be good. <laughs> Hold on. This is from the studio that made Odd Taxi. Damn, dude, there's a lot of things that could be Dark Horses this season. It's actually really crazy. This might be the season where I watched as many anime as I did in winter, which was like 17. Megaton Musashi by the same studio that made Odd Taxi. Obviously, I'm assuming it's not the same director and stuff, but I'll give this a shot. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Moving on. Visual Prison, A1 Pictures, another vampire one. Three vampire ones. If you like vampires, it's your thing. Do whatever you want to do, bro. Watch this. Visual prison. We're starting to reach the more low-key stuff. I have no idea how long this is, by the way. But I do hope you're enjoying it. You know, just chilling with your chicken. The night beyond the tri-corner window. Like, this is a pass for now. Lupin. <laughs> I have not watched Lupin yet. But yeah, I'll definitely watch this when I watch Lupin. So, rest assured. <laughs> Selection project. All right, this is music right there. It's it's one of those anime. You already know. <laughs> Deji meets girl. What is this? But I don't know. There's already a lot of things that I'm gonna watch this season. So I'm gonna ch I'm gonna chill with this one. Now I'm seeing one on the corner of my eye that. Pff, I'm sorry. For this one. All right, before we get to that one, cup. Let's take. Let's make a mug too. I mean, if if you like making mugs, watch this, bro. All right, now. <laughs> I am so hyped. I'm getting goosebumps for this one, dude. Oh my god. If you do not know what the Heiki story, Heiki story, however you pronounce it is, it's now Koyamada's return, dude. Oh my god. I got teary eyed when I saw this announcement on Twitter. I was. I, I cannot tell you how excited I am for this. If you do not know who Naoko Yamada is, she's basically a legendary director who usually works for Kyoto Animation. She's done k -On, A Silent Voice. If you haven't watched A Silent Voice, like, I mean, come on, dude. Listen to Bluebird. She's worked on a lot of things. Every single one of these shows are insanely good, dude. Like, direction-wise, they're like, Oh my god. And this one is a must, 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 must watch. You absolutely need to watch this one. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but just because Naoko is directing it, <laughs> expect a video out of this. Like, it's Naoko, dude. I, I absolutely love her. Must watch. Moving on. Another, <laughs> a sports one. This seems I right. Card fight, comedy game. You already know. This doesn't even have a proper poster yet. <laughs> Digimon, I mean, if you like Digimon, go ahead, bro. Uh, oh, 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 okay. Finally, we went through all of- I have no idea how long that took. <laughs> One hour and five minutes. But we finally went through every single anime that will be airing this fall 2021 season of anime. This is the summary. So I got a little Google Docs here about the anime that I was like, yes, yes. So first off, Osama Ranking. Wit Studio, you already know, man. This is a must watch. I mean, the art style does look kind of interesting. How something looks does not mean that the story is going to be trash. It has happened so many times. And you just have to, like, be very open-minded when it comes to, like, unique art styles and stuff. But yeah, Osama Ranking. Second one that is a must watch. Heike Story. If you want to hear me, fanboy, go back a few minutes. But basically, this anime is made by a lot of people who worked on a silent voice including the director which is naoko yamara this anime overall just looks incredible and it's seriously going to be something that stands out this season and it might just be an anime of the year contendant let's just see what happens blue period this one <laughs> That name's kind of weird. Blue Period is about painting, according to the synopsis. But the reason why I'm like, this is a must watch is because of how high the manga score is, which I mentioned earlier. Anyways, yeah, this is a must watch. Just give the first three episodes a shot. I'm definitely going to be talking about this on my Twitter. So yeah, Blue Period, watch it because it's probably going to be really good <clears throat> unless they pull like Promise Neverland. <laughs> Platinum End from the author of Death Note. 
very, very, very intrigued about this one. And if you've watched Death Note, then you already know why I'm like excited for this. So one of the main reasons why I'm like extra excited for this one is because it's psychological and I absolutely adore psychological anime. I mean, ReZero is psychological and y'all already know how I feel about ReZero. <laughs> it's the author of Death Note. That already has so much weight on it. If he f***s up, then damn bro, that, <laughs> that sucks. Komi can't communicate. <sighs> if you've been around the anime community for the last couple of years, you know how many memes <laughs> this girl has. It's honestly so amazing that she's finally getting an anime and just because of that reason, I'm really excited to watch this. So it's an obviously must watch for me and I do genuinely recommend you guys to watch it so you can be up to date to, with the... But yeah, this is, this looks like a nice rom-com slice of life show. Deep Insanity. Now this anime, it, it looks like one of those serious animes. So just because of that, it might be really good or really bad. <laughs> it's usually really 50-50 with those that do not have like uh, a reputation already. But I am looking forward to this because it just looks really interesting. The setting of the place, which is Antarctica. I don't know why I got reminded of this, the anime where the one where the girls go to Antarctica, it was, I loved that. That anime so much and it just reminded me of that so i'm gonna watch it this one is like maybe if you just look at the trailers if you want to watch it maybe give the first episode a watch but if not then you know pass so moving on to the romance slash slice of life besides komi we got two i saw i was looking at the list and we got two so the first one is my senpai is annoying do not question the title guys but this one just has a good manga score like it has like 83 or 84 if i remember and it's just it just looks wholesome dude i'm just looking forward to it because i just love my wholesome romance anime and if i'm not mistaken this is the studio that made tonikawa yeah this might be the higahiro tonikawa horimiya of this season if it isn't komi <laughs> Taisho Otome Fairy Tale. Taisho Otome Fairy Tale. And the second one is Taisho Otome Fairy Tale. Now, this one seems weird, but again, the manga scores. They look really promising, and it's a historical slice of life shown in anime. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I'm definitely gonna give the first three episodes of this a shot. And yeah, just see what happens from there on. And those are my must watch for romance. If there's anything I missed or anything you guys want me to watch, please. Comment down below. And lastly, to end off the video, we got the sequels. There's two sequels that I'm really looking forward to. And the first one is obviously Jobless Reincarnation. Like I said, I did not watch the first season, but it's Isekai and you guys already know that I love my Isekai, so I really gotta watch this. A lot of people are saying a lot of good things about this show. A lot of people are comparing it with ReZero and y'all already know if you compare something to ReZero, <laughs> And the second one and last one is the second part of 86. 86 is something that I watched recently and I am very excited for this one because the first part was a prologue basically. And this is the beginning of the anime and I'm really looking forward to it because a lot of people say a lot of good things about this series. So yeah, this is a must watch for me and I will definitely be talking about this on my Twitter. And obviously, Demon Slayer. Ufotabo has been going crazy with Demon Slayer lately and this season is probably going to be pretty cool to be honest and as always it's gonna have amazing animation. So this season is an obvious must watch just because it's Demon Slayer. Even if it doesn't have the best story ever, right? It's still eye candy to watch and who doesn't love that damn art style. And that does it for this season of fall 2021 anime. I hope you guys enjoy this long ass video. I have no idea how long this video is going to end up being, but I really hope you guys have fun watching this. I hope it's entertaining as always. I really hope you guys enjoy watching me like chill out with you guys and just you know, pick the animes that I'm going to watch and recommend stuff. I'm planning on doing this every season now because I had a lot of fun doing this video. So yeah, I hope you guys look forward to winter 2022, is it? Yeah, winter. And if it isn't obvious enough, this is my first time doing something like this. So there's a lot that I can improve on already. <laughs> and honestly, man, I would love to make a lot of videos about everything that I talked about, but time doesn't help, man. So yeah, as always, guys, 
leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down below what animes you're gonna watch, and roast me if I did say something or miss something very major. And yeah, as always, don't do dumb shit. I love you guys so much, and stay cringy.